Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. In this video we're still talking about initial setup of the radio and another setting that you're going to want to look, look for, and this is when you start to actually experiment with passing message traffic. So if you want to see how well you're being heard. Uh, oftentimes you can get with another radio operator or you know enlist a member of the family and you have another radio they can they can monitor and something you're going to want to check for is to see what the quality of your signal is. Um, and Simplex is a great way to test this and what we're talking about here is just talking into the mic hole. How well is that traffic passed um, by the uh, or or heard by the recipient of the transmission and if you find that as you're as you're talking your audio is kind of low or maybe your audio is super hot and you're really blasting through nice and loud you might need to adjust the mic gain now there's something else you can do before you even get to that point and that is a consistent manner of speaking into the radio now I used to listen to a, a repeater uh, we have a, a linked repeater system here in California called the Salinas Valley Repeater Group. And there was this one guy, and I haven't heard him in a long time, so I think he might have went silent key. But this guy was a real cranky uh, son of a gun. And when they would do nets and stuff, this guy would just almost invariably, every single time you heard him talk on the radio, he would criticize someone about how they were talking into their microphone. He never described it, how to do it right. Uh, he, <laughs> But, yeah, there's... And, and maybe it's not talked about enough, I'm not sure, but something you have to understand about the mic hole on the radio and, and how you're supposed to talk. You do not hold the radio perpendicular to your face and speak directly into the hole. And that's what we're talking about here. It says MIC right above it. They were very nice to, to give us a logo there for it. That is the microphone port. If you talk directly into the microphone, you're pushing a lot of air in there, and this all works off of, of airflow essentially that's that's how it receives it and, and and transfers that into an oscillating wave and you get voice message on the other end of things if you overload that by yelling right into that microphone and you're too close and you're driving air right into that thing it will sound it will sound over modulated is the term they like to use what you want to do instead is you want to talk across the microphone. So when you're talking on the radio, you actually want to have it turned at about a 30 degree angle if we're going to be super exact and talk like that. So the air passes over the microphone opening and it picks it up. And you want to be, you know, you don't want to snug right up on it where it's touching your face. You want to be two to four inches away, that kind of stuff. And some radios have a sweet spot for that and some don't. Um, but that's one way. Now, another thing to be conscious of is as you're holding the radio, because this is a small radio. Notice when I when I hold it like this and I'm and I'm pressing down with my thumb. Notice where my my middle finger is. It's actually covering that microphone hole. That could be another reason why your audio is low. You want to make sure you're always cognizant of exactly where that is, so you don't cover it with your finger while you're holding it. But let's say you've done that. You're talking across the microphone the correct way. You don't have the hole covered, but your audio is still low. Um, or um, you have it turned away and you're talking across the mic instead of talking directly into it and you're over modulated. Can this be adjusted? Well, on this radio, fortunately, you can. And you do so by using a thing called a mic gain. And, and all gain is is it turns up or down the sensitivity of the microphone itself. So we're going to adjust that by going to menu item I believe it's four or five yeah there we go um, so when we go to item number 45 and we select that let's look at our settings here so let's turn it all the way down to one which or zero would be effectively off I imagine um, and we can set it from zero all the way up to nine so I imagine nine is going to be the hottest they give us five as a default and I've sort of found that five kind of works for me anyway but if you need to make your microphone a little more sensitive you can maybe turn that up to seven if you need to turn the sensitivity down take it down to a three and experiment and get with another radio and see how well you're being heard because microphone gain can can affect that a, a, a good deal but again also proper technique is important as well so thought I'd throw that in also but that's adjusting microphone gain so um, once you've gotten to that selection that you want and we'll go back to five 
Press the blue button again, press the orange button, and your microphone gain has been adjusted. So with that, I'll thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visay, California. Have a wonderful day.